morning guys welcome to Sunday I have regular people clothes on I love this outfit it's like blue baggy kind of pants and this mustard yellow shirt normally I don't like yellow but I love mustard yellow and I have a kind of matching purse complimenting purse I don't know trying today you guys I'm trying to look like a normal person because we're going someplace and we're gonna take you guys with us we're going someplace so 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 super special I, I can't wait to show you what we're going to see all right welcome to Lily who <laughs> wants a bottle but this is baby Lily so her due date is Tuesday and she's already been here a month <laughs> This is her. She's so cute. She's ready, getting ready for a drink. All right, here we are. She's still hungry, <laughs> but she's still hungry. But she, I swaddled her all up, and now she's all quiet. Isn't she the most beautiful little thing? The rain has finally stopped, but now it's like a tornado. Tornado winds. <laughs> it's crazy. This weather has been insane. So the other day I was mentioning that our little baby goat, ow, get out, get out, gets 24 ounces of milk every day. And then my friend sent me this really neat comment and it said something like, I'm starving her, she should eat, uh, she should eat however much. By 21 week, by 21 days, she should be eating like, she should only be eating this much like at 21 days. So anyways, I assume that she's someone who doesn't watch our channel or she's just someone trying to spread misinformation. We never know what the situation is. It's so hard to film down here. I have goats eating the camera while I'm trying to feed <laughs> and film. But anyways, not only is this little goat way past 21 days, she is three months. She's almost three months old. She's super tiny. I didn't raise her, I bought her. I wasn't responsible for her being tiny. She was a quadruplet and um, she was damn raised, which can be really difficult. So she it was just super tiny. So when I got her, seeing how tiny she was, I tried, I decided to try and see if she would take a bottle. And even though she was damn raised, she took to the bottle so well. <laughs> She's such a good little bottle baby. Uh, and she gets 24 ounces a day, three eight ounce bottles every single day and that's incredible for a three month old baby. Not very many three month old babies get that. Even dam raised babies don't usually get that much at three, at three months. So I'm super grateful that she takes it. She's getting way more than enough. She's getting more than a three month old baby would get but she's tiny so she, she can handle that. Even Sam told me today that I should stop feeding her because she's old enough not to be drinking milk but the problem is that she's so tiny and I want her to grow big and strong and the best thing for her is her mama's milk but by the time a baby goat gets to be three months old um, they are eating a, a sufficient grain and sufficient hay to survive and to feed themselves and to thrive. Uh, but, but because she's so little, I want her to have the benefit of the milk. And I'm giving up a lot of my milk <laughs> so she can eat. So we're definitely not starving her. She didn't, she came to us as an eight week old baby that was only seven pounds. And so we made the best of the worst situation. And she's, she's thriving. She's got a nice chunky belly on her. You guys can see that little belly sticking out. She's got a nice belly on her. She's just short now. She's got a nice little shape to her. <laughs> She's just a tiny little thing. She's just a short girl. You're just a short girl. Yes, you are. But you cannot sit in the goat field if you don't want to be climbed on. Right? Right, Cricket? Meanwhile, over in the boy pen, we got Lazy 1 and Lazy 2 and Lazy 3. <laughs> it's just so funny to walk over here. The girls are all running around, playing, enjoying life, and the boys are just laying here sleeping. These two have become best friends though and they don't like him so they stay up high. It's actually a lovely out here like windy and cool and just lovely. Such a nice break from the heat. So excited to show you guys what our baby ducks look like now. Sophie's, Sophie's coming out in just a second and we're going to show you guys what they look like. They are starting to get their adult colors now. Oh my gosh so cute. I lost a turkey you guys. He caught out of the pen. He's just a baby. Oh! He sure let me catch him after that, after he got attacked. I was just starting to wonder if they are big enough to like go kind of out in the mainstream. Nope, they're not. He's still too small getting pecked. So that was one of our turkey babies, but they've grown a lot since the last time you guys saw them. So we're gonna give you an update. 
still just waiting for Sophie. She's bringing out the water. The turkeys are so sweet. And the ducks, two of them are pretty cute. One is really plain. While I'm waiting, I decided to show you guys the picture that Gabby painted. She, I told you all she wanted to do this summer, like one of her main things she wanted to do was paint a Bob Ross picture. So this is it, this is what she painted. And it's the first time she's ever painted. She's super creative. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like, um, how good she did. It was amazing, I'm so proud of her. All right, Sophie slept, went to bed late, slept in today. All right, show the, show the, I don't know what color these are, but they're like, they have really nice colors, but these are just like the plain colors. So he's a little call doc, or she's a little call doc. This is the boy. Yeah, it sounds like a boy. And he's got the most white on him. So that's our Jersey Giant, one of our Jersey Giants. Black Jersey Giants. I didn't even know you could get Black Jersey Giants, but they're like a big chicken. Super cute, she's super cute. All three of them are girls. Okay, look at him. That's one of our turkeys and he's posturing. Do you see him? He thinks there's a threat, I think. Get down, we're trying to look. Right. See how he puts his tail feathers up and he puffs himself up so he looks all fancy and big and then that's another little turkey, it's a girl, kissing him. That's another one of our call ducks over there. So that's like the kind that we bought before. And now we have this kind that's kind of like muted blacks and brown. Is that a girl? Oh my gosh, it's noisy in here. This one's marshmallow. That one's marshmallow. Yeah. Is it a girl? Yeah. Sounds like a girl. Sophie says she's really pretty. And I mean, all animals are beautiful in their own way. It's not that she's ugly, it's just that there are really beautiful, like pastel colored call ducks out there. I didn't, the lady who sold them, she didn't, um, she didn't show the parents. Nowadays I just assume that people are shy or they don't like dealing with other people or they're introverted or whatever the situation is. And the lady that sold us these ducks is very like, not like she doesn't deal with people very much. So you just buy them and you get what you get and you don't get upset, so that's what we did, but now that I have them, I don't really love them. But don't worry, we will get more. We will get the night, the cute colored ones. These are cute. They're like blacks and browns. And white. And white. This one, it doesn't have a name. Is it a girl? Yeah. Sounds like a boy. Part of our watermelon is headed out to the chickens. Look what I have for you, baby chicken. Look. Oop. Do you like it? They love it. First smoothie, you guys. I love green smoothies. I love them so much. First one from the garden, it's so good. I love green smoothies. I don't I even like fruit smoothies, only green for me. There was a time that we were so super healthy. Remember I told you guys we were gluten free for three years and then my family revolted and said, no, we want to eat real food. And so now we just eat whatever. But during that time, I was a huge green smoothie person. Like I love a green smoothie so, so much. She was excited to come to you? I was gonna say that when I was doing the garden, I haven't seen the horses in two days hardly. That's how you know they're held, they're happy is when they're off doing their own well, horsey I thing. Her break for riding. I know, she needed a break. Close that door so the pig doesn't come out. This horse loves Sophie. She positions her body all the time so that she can be facing Sophie. All right. Here we go. I'm excited. For, I'm excited for riding. I don't like to ride when it's crazy windy like this, but Sophie doesn't care. I don't care. I know she's involved. I feel like Penny doesn't care either, but I care. There we go. N look, not a chicken in sight. They're all at the watermelon in the front. Sophie goes way over there to get on now. We need a, Sam, we need a, you to build us a mounting block. Look at the wind, you guys. And this horse is away from her friends. Doesn't even care. I'm talking to the vlog. 
So we're trying out different saddles right now to see what fits the horse. So this one doesn't fit Sophie quite as well as hers does. But I do think it does fit her a, little, a lot better than it used to. So anyways, we are trying different saddles for the next couple of weeks, a bunch of different ones. <laughs> she noticed the raised trot pole. She's like, hmm, do I really want to do that? Sophie says she's a little spooky, so they're just kind of walking around for a few minutes. Because it is windy, like windy. Walked her over that tr that race trot, <laughs> and she. <laughs> she forgot to pick up her leg. She didn't realize it was a race trot pole, and she <laughs> she's spooked. That was funny. Yeah. At least she stops. She just stops and hits the ground. That's all she does. She keeps stopping here because she wants to see her friends. She definitely wants to go. So Sophie's making her walk. Even if she just has a walk less a walk ride. Even if she just has a walk ride in this like wind. Sometimes you just have to do what the horse needs to do. She just spooked at that red buck that red thing. I think she's getting herd bound and that's her issue. nervous of that pole.
looking for her friends. This branch literally just fell. It's God saying, don't go. So we're gonna go on a little girl's trip to the grocery store. So, uh, I've been craving these candies like the last three days and I don't like to eat candy because it does crazy things to me. When I eat candy, it makes me feel like jittery and stuff. Wait, where's my keys? Anyways, so I got invited, well, so my friend wants us to go on uh, a girl's trip, you know, Elizabeth's mom, Elizabeth. So Elizabeth's mom sent me a thing for a girl's trip. And I, so I was thinking like a girl's trip would be so fun. So so the activities at this girl's trip are like kayaking early in the morning, yoga, dance parties, rock wall climbing. And I'm just like, that? that's just not me. Like I like- you want us to do that? No, Jen, uh, Elizabeth's mom sent me a thing and, and so that we could go, but none of those things like i have so many hobbies and none of them are those like i could drink a half a glass and there's like wine drinking and i could drink like a half a glass of wine and then i'd be drunk and then i have to sleep like it's just i don't know i i'm more of like a retreat where you go and you have massages and then you swim in like a pool and then you rest and eat like that's the kind of thing that i like <laughs> but it makes me feel like i'm weird like I have so many hobbies. Most of them are like hobbies that you do on your own, but I love journaling. I love reading. I love crocheting. I love knitting. I love scrapbooking. I love photography. I love gardening. I love animals so much. Like there's so many things that I love. None of the things are at that retreat. Comment below, what is your hobby? Like what are your hobbies? What kind of things do you like to do? All right, I've been craving these candies for the last few days. Hopefully they have them here. I don't think they have them here. Well, that sucks. All this choice and they don't have the candy I'm craving. I knew they wouldn't have it. Okay, so we're back in the car and they didn't have my treat. So I got these honey mustard pretzel bites. I do not like pretzels. I don't like those soft pretzels. But these are like hard and crunchy and they just have yummy taste. So I got those and then we got Sam. Double stuffed Oreo cookies. He likes cookies every once in a while. We, we don't usually buy like a lot of junk to eat. Gabby, show them what you eat. Gabby eats these chocolate. What'd you get? I got these. Now I just told you guys to comment below what you your hobbies are, what your hobbies are, but comment below, comment below now what your favorite snack is. What's your favorite snack? The thing I wanted was like, they're like Werther's. They're like a um, caramel candy and then they have cream in the inside of them. I love them. Don't you know that you're beautiful?